Welcome to my channel SS Academy. Today we will study activity and decay constant. As I have told earlier that radioactive decay is a spontaneous and random process because we cannot predict when an individual nucleus will decay. As predictions for individual nuclei cannot be made, we can just say the probability of decay of certain types of nuclei than others. Moreover, the same element exists in different states. As an example, a nucleus of carbon-12 is stable, a nucleus of carbon-14 decays gradually over thousands of years, and a nucleus of carbon-15 lasts, on average, for few seconds. Even a tiny dot of radioactive material will contain more than 10 raised to the power 15 nuclei. Therefore, when we think about a very large number of nuclei, we find out the average decay rate, that is, the average number of nuclei that are expected to decay in a particular interval of time. Table of contents, decay constant, activity, relationship between activity and decay constant, example. Decay constant, lambda. The decay constant of a radioactive nucleide is its probability of decay per unit time or per second. So units of decay constant is per second. It could be per hour, per second, per day, per year, etc., depending on the nature, stability, or unstability of the nucleus. The number of parent nucleides decrease with time. Therefore, decay rate is delta n over delta t, which is equal to minus lambda n, where lambda is the decay constant. Activity. Average number of disintegrations per second or the rate at which nuclei of a radioactive sample decay or disintegrate is called activity of that sample. It is measured in decays per second, decays per hour, or decays per day. One becquerel is equal to one decay per second. The greater will be the activity of the sample if the decay constant is greater. That is, the probability that an individual nucleus will decay per unit time. Relationship between activity and decay constant. If n is the number of undecayed nuclei, lambda and a, that is decay constant and activity, they are related by the following expression, a is equal to lambda n. Example. Suppose we observe 1 million nuclei of a particular radioisotope. After one hour, 250,000, that is one fourth of 1 million have decayed. Therefore, the probability that an individual nucleus will decay in one hour is 0.25 or 25%. This is because 25% of the nuclei have decayed in this time. This is only an approximate value. Due to spontaneous and random nature of the decay, we may find by repeating the experiment that only 245,900 nuclei decay. So reliability of the answer depends on the more times the experiment is repeated. So in this case, decay constant lambda will be equal to 0.25 per hour. As activity of a sample cannot be measured directly, as it is not easy to detect all of the radiations emitted, some escape past detector and some may be absorbed within the sample itself. Therefore, a Geiger-Muller or a GM tube placed in front of a radioactive source only detects a fraction of the activity. Count rate is smaller if GM tube is farther from the source. Therefore, our measurements give a received count rate and is significantly lower than the activity. Activity can be deduced from the count rate if efficiency of our detecting system is known. Significant level of background radiation must be subtracted to give the corrected count rate. 